morning, everybody. Welcome back to Minecraft. This is Skeletor's Space Adventure, episode 20. 20 long episodes we've been playing this game now, uh, at an average of two hours per stream. Uh, so that's at least a 40-hour playthrough. I know on some of my streams, I've had uh, three hours worth of, uh, of gameplay. Maybe even 3.5 hours worth of gameplay. So... Yeah, as as a as a base bottom, giggity, uh, at least forty hours so far into this playthrough. Uh, so a lot of fun we are having in this game. So before I crack on, let us restore the oxygen from this here oxy tank. Uh, what's on the agenda today? Well, I want to proceed further forwards in uh, our ability to beat this here dungeon boss. Um, I think I hit a bit of a roadblock though because because I don't know why. You know I was looking last episode I was looking at making a circuit fabricator up here on Mars as well as a, a compressor so that we can actually start building things. Um, can't remember what it was I was thinking of building but um, can't do that without uh, cotton uh, is what we need to kind of get started with there. We don't have no cotton. So um, I was wondering whether it's worth me hop scooting back to Earth very quickly. But I'm also worried about our slimelings here. As soon as I leave the Mars dimension, we end up in a situation where uh, the game kind of forgets everything, resets all of the power. I have to reset all of these power cables over and over and over again, as well as the bubble distributor here. Um, just to get the uh, the oxygen working again, so I'm worried that these dudes will perish if I if I step away. But I guess I'm going to have to leave at some point. So clouds, Arcana, VJ, Force, other name, Jimmy, LR, AEA, you bros. I wish you the best of luck. Uh, also, we need to find one more of these guys because I need to add JJ twenty one B into the mix of slimeling friends as well. Meteoric Iron Ingots, that's nice. Yeah, we got that from uh, looking for um, Slimelings last episode. We've got a nice little healthy amount of uh, ores coming in here uh, now. So again, it wouldn't it would be too wrong for me to want to run off and, and get the stuff that we then need to be able to manufacture things up here, really. Compressor, as I mentioned, as well as the... Uh, as well as the um, circuit fabricator. But uh, we'll also need diamond. That's a thing. That's going to be important. Um, redstone we have. Regular stone maybe. I think I need to make things like redstone repeaters. Yeah, we're kind of building a bit of a shopping list there. Let's see if we can find another slime link. Uh, um, is it daytime? Is it nighttime? I can hear a spider on the roof. Uh, looks like it's daytime. Pop out real quick. Hopefully there's no uh, big mobs around. I think I slept. Actually, was one of the last things I did last time before finishing the stream. And uh, as there's a spider over here just chilling, let's go and remove it from the game. Because I'd like its string so I can make cotton from it. But it didn't give. Clear out some of this uh, mess. I uh, got an update from the uh, mod pack developer yesterday. He is on the cusp of launching his new updates to uh, this uh, mod pack playthrough. Um, all of a sudden, things will change. Um, not too demonstrously, I don't think, for us in the in the near future. But uh, whatever we did over on the moon might might not benefit from the updates um first first major thing he's going to be doing is is making sure these wind turbines are i guess realistic so here on mars we do get wind on earth we do get wind but on the moon where there is 
zero atmosphere, zero wind. Um, he's going to be removing the wind from the moon. Uh, any other planet or orbiting body that doesn't benefit from winds as well will not. Um, you won't be able to use the uh, the wind turbines either. So that's something to to consider for future space exploration. We're going to need to really make good use of so uh, solar. Uh, I think I want to I want to try and explain to him though that the solar. I, I, I worry if it's working correctly because I don't feel like we're getting enough. Um, input from the uh, from the sun as we should be because I've got a solar panel set up here and I believe it's only pulling in something stupid like 20 something RF per tick which is very light compared to the wind turbine which is pulling in somewhere in the realms of 360 uh, RF per tick there's another slime bling right we found one we found a JJ and uh, what's this one? Is this just a regular meteor? Well, let's find out. I think it's just a regular meteor, that one, yep. <laughs> Tested out our jetpack last episode, and that thing was great. So yeah, pretty happy that we've got that. Yay, you are JJ21B. Favorite food, gunpowder. Very nice. Good show, old man. Come on, JJ, let's go home. Arcana King is here. Hello, Arcana. Come straight into chat with a question. Missing a question mark, basically saying, what? What? Hello, mate. How are you today? Hope you are well. VJ says he's back on Mars. Hello, VJ. Four's other name. Nice to have you here as well. Uh, I'm guessing you guys didn't hear all of my chat a second ago. And please don't make me repeat myself. Arcana says, fantastic, now you are here. Well, that's a nice thing to say. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Look, we've 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 added JJ21B into the mix. Look at these guys. One, two, three, four, five. We've got an army. An army. A posse. Of slimelings. Um, the strongest one is is Clouds of all of all of all things. VJ is there at 26. Uh Arcana 25, Jimmy 24, and JJ at a lowly 20. VJ says, I've just arrived. Sorry. That's okay, mate. I was literally just chattering and nattering on about the upcoming changes that the uh, mod pack developer is bringing in and how that is going to be a, I think, a negative detriment to wind power. At the moment, we're getting, we're getting 384 RF per tick from this, this guy here. Um, but he says he's going to be modifying how that works for the future. He says that we need to be making good use of solar panels. But again, 22 gigajoules per tick. I, I'm really not satisfied with that. Really not satisfied. I don't know why it's it's crap. So sun visible, 100%. It can see 100% of the sun, yet it pulls in such a very small amount of energy. Um, so, yeah, I want him... Gaming Beast, if you're watching this, I know you, you're not watching too many of these, but if you are watching this, maybe I need to make the clip for you. But um, this is what's happening with Solar at the moment. I don't think that this mod pack is working correctly for Solar. So before you nerf the wind turbines, please can we have a think about if there's a problem here. Bear in mind this is the advanced solar panel as well. So I've not got the basic one, which is the baby version. Thank you very much. I've said my piece. VJ, even VJ Four's other name, who is not a mod mod player, uh, thinks there's something wrong. So, um, Harketh, Harkenth. Look, we can sleep on Mars. Arcana says computer says no. The 
Those mobs are still out there. So yeah, what do we do today? That's the big question. Do I go back to Earth real quick and grab the things that we need to build the circuit fabricator and the compressor and then come back? Again, I really want to move this, but I'm scared of breaking it. Because if I do this... Oh, we're okay. We're okay. It's not broken. It ain't broke. All right, now let's put it because it doesn't need power apparently. Let's stick it. Uh, let's stick it there. Nicely flush. I say flush, but nicely flush against the the back panel there. Um, cannot use this for another two hundred fifty-two seconds. That's fine. I just wanted to reset the spawn. That's that's all I was trying to do there. So we've got some space here. If I need to do some power stuff. I can power out and then uh, we can build this way for the electric compressor. Uh, circuit fabricator I don't think needs power. But yeah, circuit fabricator is a bum bum because it requires diamond, which we have back on Earth. Not found any here yet. It requires... Um, yeah, redstone stuff. And silicone. I've not found any silicone up here either. And actually silicone is a bit of a poop to find as well. So do I want to be fabricating circuits? I don't know. Uh, and, and I think that the only reason why I wanted to do that was because um, we might need some wafers, some wafer thin uh, items later on. And the wafers uh, need to be constructed in that mechanism. Um, and what were we looking at? We were looking at arc lights, weren't we? Which is a battery powered light source to light up certain areas. So yeah, question... I ask myself, is, is it really that necessary? Or do we just go and defeat the dungeon boss, have a go at defeating the dungeon boss, and then get the shit out of Mars? Leave these slimelings here to fend for themselves. That's the big question today. Uh, I am tempted to go... Look how dark it's getting already. I am tempted to go and... Well, one thing we need to do is we need to get down into the dungeon um, and... Kind of build the pathway to the boss room anyway. So maybe we can make a start of that uh, with our handy jetpack. Bow and arrow, though. That was another thing, wasn't it? I've got my bow, but no arrows. Um, but we can make them, I think, at the tool forge here. Uh, let's have a look at the recipes. No. Arrow. So, what do we got? Copper arrows, bronze arrows, alumite arrows, steel arrows, slime arrows, pig iron arrows, invar arrows, ferrous arrows, lead arrows, silver arrows, glass arrows, wood, shiny, stone, electrum, iron, which has a plus two attack damage. Uh, cactus, obsidian, netherrack, slime, and paper. So out of all of that, I mean, how tough do they get? Plus four, I think. Is, oh, no, wait. Plus ten on glass arrows. Crafted by a legendary glass maker. Interesting. Um, repair material is wood. Yeah, interesting. How do we, how do we make a glass arrow? Control for materials. So you need a wooden arrowhead, feather fletching, and a stick arrow shaft. Really? Is that it? Uh, although feathers we don't have, so don't even have a chicken yet. How are you boys doing today, Arcana and VJ? I hope you're both good. A stone arrowhead. Ah, no, I need, I need the smelter for that. Oop, like, no, I don't. No, I don't. I just need a. God damn, it's wood a problem. How many dirt up here? Excuse me. Uh, no, no dirt. Just working on animation while I listen in the background. Good man. Hope that animation is coming along nicely. Let's take another sleep. Yeah, 
yeah, so bow and arrow edge is a challenge as well. I think we do need to go back to Earth, the overworld. Here's me trying to avoid having to do that. Um, I mean, even the basic arrows require feathers. I managed to get away with that on the uh, the arrows in the pack backpack that I had lost. Because I made these... Um, which ones did I make? I think it was cactus arrows. No, it wasn't. It was... Uh, they had... Um, they had, like... They had, like, paper flights on a stick with a... And I think the tips were silver. I think that's the ones I, I had made. Yeah, there's the cast for it. I might be able to just squeak enough... No, because we won't have enough for the shafts. Giggity, he said shaft. Uh, oh, actually, we might be able to grow wood in a cloche. I wonder if the cloche is in this mod pack. Doesn't look like it is. Plop. Uh, what about the bonsai? No. Planters. Um, plop. Okay. Poopings! TF2 animation, but with Wind Waker character. Small time animator just trying to find a Wind Waker with a minimalism style. We all remember the uh, the Wind Waker Zelda. The Wind Waker on GameCube. I remember having that one myself. Uh, good animation style. Kind of um, reminded me a lot of uh, Parappa the Rapper. If you remember that old title from uh, the old days. Parappa the Rapper. Um, well, what are we going to do? Jetpack me. Let's go and make the tunnel uh, ready for... Ready for us. So the boss is this way. Yeah, my only gripe with the jetpack is it's um, it's slow. You heard me moaning and nitpicking about it last time, but uh, slow on its forwards. So traveling in a forward direction, it is slow. Oh, okay, we're going to have to log out, log back in again by the looks of things because the world hasn't rendered in completely. BJ, he did post in uh, the Discord a very small clip. Um, so I think that's probably the best place where you can get the uh, the sample from. And he's there saying, no, he doesn't want people to look at him. Don't look at me. Nobody look at me. One, two, three, nobody die. That's our motto. Nobody die. Yeah, I've got a suspicion that um, if I keep going that way, I should take us back to base. That's my suspicion, and I'm sticking with it. Um, what happens if I break through here? Because there's another 
dungeon room over there. I wonder if it's uh could be a hack if we just build that way and then get in. Hacks. H A X. Spider. Scary spider. Spooky spider. Have any magnetism? That was a big bang. I heard it. Did you hear it? We've got spider webs. Spider webs mean cotton or oh, string, which thing I can turn into wool. Take all this stuff out for sure. So I can turn this into wool. Easy peasy. build with. Let's keep going straight, exploring this way. Um, if this takes us straight to the boss room, brilliant. There's a chest. Dark steel, interesting. Base it turret Base crank, iridium ore, iridium shards, tin ingot, copper ingot, and iridium shards again. Very nice. Spiders are scary. Thank God they are not real. Well, you say that. I was taking a bath a few moments ago, and one little shit managed to get through the, um, what do they call it? The, um, the drain off, um, section. I was like, what the fuck? How dare you? That's a creeper one. Are you a creeper one too? Yes, you are. torches in a minute. Oh look, there's the other side of my wall. <laughs> I've just gone round in a circle, people. How good am I? I made a shortcut to nowhere. Boom. Boom goes the dynamites. Never 
mind. We're going to make a good use of all of this string. Yeah, the other great way of being, being able to get string would have been to, uh, I don't know, have some kind of mob grinder somewhere. Um, grinding away on spiders uh, and getting them that way. The best way to get string is through declaring it. I declare, I decree, string, like that. Or I do declare, Mr. Beauregard, string. Uh, VJ, are you there? <laughs> I got something funny to tell you. Not just you exclusively, but um, I, I think uh, I think you will enjoy. <laughs> um, roll back to the very beginning of the stream. Um, I got on about two minutes early, so I did my own hold music. Um, see if you can tell me which song uh, we we did. I did it with my mouth. There you go, Arcana King. Star 17's quote of the day. I did it with my mouth. IRL, yeah, IRL elevator music. Exactly that. Uh, Muzak, isn't it? That's what they call that stuff. Muzak. Uh, boom goes the dynamite again. But yeah, I think we're making this section safer. Oh, man, literally, I've got two, two, um, two torches left. So I need to dip my head in just that little bit farther, and then, and then we're backing out. There's my shortcut. I mean, it is a shortcut, all in all. What I could do actually is I could take these torches back. And then, and then box up this bit here. And then I can be more economic with my torches. That is exciting streaming, isn't it? What an exciting thing to think about. Just like that. So back over the old bridge. Don't forget to say brain when you cross the bridge. Brain! That's what we call a brain bridge. And then we can just grab a bit more of the good stuff. Give me that good stuff. Oh, look at this. Mister over there trying to get in sneaky way through the, through the creeper, creeper vines. Whatever they're called. Creep vine. Oh, that's Subnautica again. Mm. 
Right, so what am I boxing up? I'm boxing up this whole bit here, aren't I? Because that's the way we want to go. So quickly run through and grab these torches back. Because they are mine now. They belong to me. We are getting light on oxygen, so eyes peeled on the oxygen bars, guys. Just close this wall off here. We don't think about what's behind it. Definitely don't think about what's making those pop noises. Um, he's up there shooting off. But anyway, let's run this way. Nothing to see here, people. Right, this is our new direction. Okay, that's the, the treasure room. Tier 2 treasure chest. So where the boss... Where's the boss? Where be the boss? Lots of glowstone around though, so that's cool. But we need the key to open that bad boy up. Yeah, that's the question. Where is, is the boss room? Don't tell me this is uh, the wrong dungeon. So that goes nowhere. Connor says hydrate. I will. Thank you for reminding me. Must have been all that dripping from the ceiling that reminded us. Thank you, Arcana. I feel hydrated so slightly. Um, so what did we box up? We boxed up... Boxed up that way, didn't we? So this goes all the way down and that way. That's the treasure room over there. So... Where... No! Yeah, the map is not very helpful, is it? Look, what's, look what goes on with the map. If I'm in this room here, which has that, that opening there, um, doesn't show me the the rest of the dungeon area, but get this bit and you can see it again. Right, so we boxed off that bit, right? But there looks like there is a... No, that's, that's the bit we boxed off over there already. Yeah, this is just a really small dungeon. We just need the key to open the treasure box. Um, there's no boss in this part. That's annoying. That means I need to go looking for... Uh, another dungeon.
It's making me want to pee, says VJ. Yeah, me too. Um, no, I forgot I had the points. I used up all my points on wowsing out. I'm wowsing out! Wow! That's a freebie for you. Not one of my best, but it's free. You cannot complain. Yeah, home is that direction. I wonder if you can go all the way that way. Get back there. Um... I'm not going to myth-bust that because it's a stupid thing to do and I will probably die. The only thing I'm interested in is this fella here. Because this will have the schematic to um, the next tier rocket. But we need the key to get in it. And we don't have it. So I'm going to take some of this though. I'm going to take all of this. Give it to me. And I'll leave behind some regular light source. Alright, let's leave. Let's get out of here. What's the Star 17 gaming lore behind Wowsing Out? Um, okay, great question. It's a great question, and let me explain why. Uh, because... It's becoming popular, uh... The word wow. So it all starts with the word Wowser, right? Wowser was once, uh, made popular by... Uh, the hit TV animation Inspector Gadget back in the 1980s slash 1990s. Um, I used to say Wowser when my kids were very young instead of swearing. So instead of swearing, I would say Wowser because that doesn't mean anything, right? I could use it in a way instead of saying shit or, or fuck or bugger. Um, I could say Wowser instead and... You know, you know, in my own head, I could swear freely without the kids kind of cottoning on to what I'm saying or repeating the word at school or to, you know, grandparents and stuff like that. From that birthed the whole new dictionary of words. So wowser became wowsing. You know, if you're wowsing out, you're either doing something good or something bad. It depends on the inflection of how the word is used. So I'm wowsing out. You know, it could be a good thing, or as opposed to I'm wowsing out is a bad thing. Um, and then if you say it with such emphasis and say it emphatically, you know, it could be like an amazing thing. So when you claim I'm wowsing out and I do it with, with, with sheer, you know, emphasis, then you get the best version of a wows out. I think that's the origin story. It's, it's, not, it's not that compelling in real life but everybody has their stuff right and that is mine enjoy it gets whacked in the knee wowzer exactly that exactly that you know you just yell the word wowzer instead of um screaming other defamatory comments you know and then there's zero risk on because i remember there was once a time where my my young my my eldest son Jensen um, was subjected to a movie that he shouldn't have watched, and obviously then phrased something in that movie back to his mother, and his mother was like, "Did you let him watch so and so?" And I could say, "No, I did not," and I can say that with certainty because um, the phrasing that he used is not something I would say in front of him. You know, it's my uh, cover my ass kind of ticket, really. And uh, from there stemmed a whole new set of words. Enjoy it. That's that's the origin story of wowsing and wowsing out and wowser. And the wowser man or the wowser woman. Um, to wows can be a really bad thing, right? If you see somebody, some degenerate on the street, you know, digging, digging through a, a pile of feces, you know, looking for... You know, the, the last peanut. Obviously mentally unhinged and uh, off their teats on some kind of drug. You can say they're wowsing out. What a wows out. I can't believe that wows. Yeah, sometimes you could be wowsing in. And that's what VJ just explained there. He's wowsing in. Um, Arcana says, I am wowsing in the walls. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you could be wowsing in the walls. You could say that. Um, 
VJ says, what film? I think it was Jurassic Park. I think his uh, grandfather let him watch Jurassic Park when he was like three. Um, and uh, I got the blame for it. And I had to defend myself by saying, no way. No way. Didn't, did not, was not, can't be. Hey, look, we got wool again. Woo, woo, wool. Although it is kind of redundant because I don't have any diamond up. Do I have any diamond up here? No, I think I took some to the moon, but I didn't bring any here. Yeah, I'm going to have to go back to the, uh, to the overworld. Much as it disappoints me. Turrets would be a good thing to set up at some point. Dark steel. I like the sound of that. Mortal Kombat live action. I've no. I don't think I've seen that one. Uh, I see. I saw the original from the nineties, but um, I never saw. Um, did they make any more Mortal Kombat? I think they made a bunch, didn't they? Probably stemmed his love of dinos. No, I think it gave him nightmare fuel for a bit because all of a sudden he's thinking about a T Rex running around, you know, trying to bite the heck out of people. Or raptors ganging up on, on a man. Uh, remember that scene in Jurassic Park where that guy's taking a deuce in the porter cabin? No, he's not taking a deuce, is he? He's just in there scared. And then the T-Rex bites him in the half, doesn't he? Or eats him whole. Mm. I just realised the VJ has summoned summoned me to do a hard wows so um let me prepare myself for a moment while i go wowsing out. i wow so hard then my headset almost fell off uh, have you seen that j uh, jurassic park game that's coming yeah i think we spoke about it didn't we uh it looks kind of cool uh, like a horror of one person left behind. Yeah, it kind of gives me um, alien isolation vibes. Like you're going to be doing a lot of like creeping about, getting from point A to point B, solving a big puzzle. That's what I'm thinking. I like how you can hear the violent shake. In the hard <laughs> wowsing. Well, I'll have to listen when I when I go to edit this video later. I'll have to listen out for the hard shake. Um, um, I hope it brings you joy. That's that's its intent. Back in the old days, when I used to have you know a few more streamer bot like. Um, redeemables and stuff like that I, I could have done more kind of camera shake and stuff like that but I've, I've, I'm running a very very raw stream so we haven't got any of that I do it in post editing though so if you ever look back on the VODs uh, at all the hard wowses there will be something to see uh, on the uh, the video that I edit I might do I thought about this but I can't remember what all the timestamps are for each of the videos I might do a hard wells compilation at some point in the future but that will take some work on my part because i'll have to go digging through hours and 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 hours of uh of uh edited content uh has your wolf said anything when you're wowsing out uh just her in the other room and you're here yelling wow she's not here uh she can't hear these wows outs today so that's a good thing. Uh, I'm getting an incoming call, guys. Can you bear with me but a mo? We're back. We are back. Uh, Sordio, I saw you popped in. You're still in the chat. Fantastic. Uh, nice to see you here, uh, my good friend. Um, we are playing Minecraft still. And uh, this is a modded Minecraft experience. I think you may have heard me talk about it in... Was it Jack the Horrors stream the other day? I think I mentioned it and you kind of pricked your ears up and was like, Minecraft? Question mark. 
Uh, but yeah, we're here on Mars at the moment, surviving. I'd like to say thriving, but um, I'm going to have to go back to the overworld in a minute and get some more supplies. But uh, you're probably thinking, what's all this indoors horticulture? Well, that's necessary to generate oxygen for me to be able to breathe within this bubble. Um, you can see this blue bubble here around my uh, little base that I've made, this little pop-up base. We've got what's called an oxygen bubble distributor. So what it does is it sends oxygen out in this radial fashion um, and allows me to, to breathe in there without the aid of oxygen tanks. Uh, I'm wearing this here spacesuit, although I'm also wearing a jetpack at the moment. So I'm not completely protected from the radiation. And yeah, we've got these gas tanks here as well as some other doohickeys uh, to be able to survive off world. Uh, there's our spaceship, the nose cone over there. That's uh, HMS Oort Cloud over there. We're going to take that back to the uh, overworld in just a moment. Uh, and yeah, I just un unfortunately had to take a phone call. So sorry about that. But I am back now. And we are going to be playing for another hour at least. Appreciate you being here. Um, you're probably thinking, okay, so what's the, what's, the, what's the main objective of this mod pack? So to give you the quick summary, the overworld has been decimated by a world-ending... Um, event a combination of um i want to call a, a meteoric um devastation so the world is being pummeled by meteors constantly uh is is the first thing that's that's caused the world itself to die but also uh humanity as as part of the law goes obviously went 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 underground and kind of tucked in under there for a bit and then somehow through time they managed to unleash a devastating virus and all of the humans have died and i'm the last living human in the game uh is the theory so we've got two missions one restore the overworld back to its former glory its former you know luscious blue planet or or and an or discover new worlds and maybe make that our new home which is not being decimated by meteoric rain and uh, has been destroyed by our own parasitic ways and unleashing a virus onto the planet killing our whole um, human race interestingly though and thinking about it we are the last surviving human so therefore wherever we go doesn't really matter that that will be the end of humanity as we know it uh, because I uh, unable unable to breed in this game and make more of more of the humans. I don't I don't think there's a cloning system in place for us to make a, a new you know population. But um, yeah, that's that's the thing. So that's that's the mod pack we're playing. It's called Steve's Galaxy Reborn. All of the information to this is on my um, well, it's in it's in a few places. It's on my Discord, VJ. If you can be a sweet dear. And just punch in the Discord link into the chat for us. That would be marveloso. Um, alternatively, if you go to my YouTube channel, which is obviously Star17 Gaming, uh, on the descriptions of the edited videos, I have all of the links to the mod pack and everything. If you're interested in playing at some point in the future, it's a lot of fun. There's some updates coming soon as well. They're going to be making a few changes to it. Uh, but we're enjoying ourselves. We've gone from Earth to the Moon, from the Moon back to Earth again. We've gone from there. We beat the Moon. There's there's bosses on every like planet and 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 satellite. So in order to get further into space, we need to defeat the boss on this planet to get the next tier ship, the schematics for the next tier ship, and then we can go further and further and further until eventually we find Planet X, um, which I guess is another Earth-like planet. That's that's the. That's kind of the theory behind this whole thing. Um, so, yeah. Any questions? And uh, happy to answer them, really. Someone decided to push the button. Someone decided to do a lot of things. Is that James's Discord on your Twitch links? Uh, it used to be, but I think I thought I changed it, Arcana. Um, but that one does look like the old one. In fact, let me grab it real quick. I, I thought I updated it, but obviously it didn't update properly. So let me let me do that RL quick. Um,
over to my server, buh, 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 buh. invite people, edit the invite link, because for some reason it expires after seven days. I select never, and yet it that uh, always changes that. So here we go. Oh, VJ's done it. Here's another one. There's two Discord links for you. But thank you, VJ. Thank you, Arcana. Appreciate you both. Bring my OBS back over there. Thank you very much. Full screen again. And we're back. We're back. I need to do... Maybe, VJ, you can help me with this at some point as well. I need to do a um, streamer bot ping on the hour or something for the Discord. I think that will probably help as well. Um, ever seen VJ, Star, and James in the same room? Huh. Well. Some people have, haven't they, VJ? Once upon a time, we all, we all used to work for the same company. We're company boys. All right, uh, what are we doing? We're going back to Earth. So you are going to get to see, Sordio, a display of of interplanetary travel. So here we've got our tier two rocket. Just gonna check we've got the fuel we do. There's a creeper over there, so I need to be mindful of that. Yeah, I don't want that motherfucker to blow up my shit again. Sorry, I got excited there for a second. Very excited indeed. Get over here, creeper. Get off my spaceship. As you can see, all of the, all of the unfriendly mobs are wearing uh, spacesuits. So they can breathe out here. I think that's a weird little touch, but... Uh... Hey-ho! The zero gravity, or rather the, the less gravity, certainly helps me uh, with the knockback, but he's run off. Some kind of... Some kind of baby. Don't blow up my stuff. Thank you. You can't go back to the overworld. We won't let you. Right, so anyway, this is our fuel loader. This is our tank of fuel that we brought from Earth. There's a refinery down there, which allows us to take this oil, this crude oil, turn it into rocket fuel. With that, I am going to jet blast back. We'll do it from a different angle this time. There we go. Jet back, jet, jet blast back to Earth. Once you hear the little pop, you're off. Up, up, up we go until the tunnel. So yeah, there we go. We leave Mars's atmosphere. You can see, uh, what's that, Phobos there? Deimos is somewhere as well. Um, the overworld is over there as well. There we go. So now we, we get to the kind of the space map here. Um, yeah, look how look how extensive it gets. So we've got all of these different systems. Obviously, that's our solar system there. And you've got this fella up here. Whoops, Daisy. Um, Bernarda A. Vega. What's this one? SETI. Uh, we've got some business over here. Proximus Alpha, Proximus uh, Beta as well. Uh, yeah, lots lots to see and do, basically. And we've, we've just got to Mars. So from the overworld here, we've ventured one step at the moment, as well as the moon. So we're going to go back to Oif. Before we do, I want to go back to the moon. I've, I've got a theory that maybe my old backpack is there. And I want to see it. We've got a space station there as well that I've started to make, but uh, need to get back on that at some point. Let's pop in and see the moon. We haven't been here for a while. Oh, yeah, I've got to remember to actually um, do the landing. It 
it is normal that there's no sounds because obviously there is no sounds in a zero atmosphere environment. There's our base as we render in. Hopefully there's not mobs everywhere. There usually is. Not today, that's good. There we go, we've touched down. Grab our ship and our launch pad back. We still have oxygen here, which is good. So that, that building there is providing the oxygen to this hab here. Um, and I usually run my rocket from here. It's been a while since I've been here actually. So how does this go again? It goes one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, and three. And then we put our ship down there. That's filling up. That's good because I'm actually worried I don't have a bucket. It's a square. It is a square. This basic ship. Uh, there is other ships though. If I galactic, galactic craft. Um, you've got tier three rocket. I guess that's the next one up. And you've got. We saw some other ships, didn't we, VJ? Where are they? Oh, we've got buggies there. Um, let's type in rocket. Yeah, so there you've got these tier four rockets, which get a little less um, blocky. Uh, these tier five rockets to these uh, tier six rockets. So yeah, they start really chunky and square, but they, they do get a lot more aerodynamic uh, the later we go. Think of it like, you know, we, we are, we are, we are we're, we're, we're streamlining um, space exploration ourselves. So we are kind of evolving our technology as we go. Right, 66% is probably not going to be enough to get us back to Earth. It might be, actually, to be fair. But um, I need to take that fuel and stick it in that loader. I can do that with this. That's good. And we've got more oil over there, too, which is also good. So that goes in there. That will fill up the rest of the ship. Good times. That's our flag, Skeletor. Uh, this is the moon. That's the dungeon down there. That's where we defeated the boss. The boss made a lot of interesting noise. Can you remember the noise it used to make, boys? Yeah, so I didn't leave my backpack up here by the looks of things. But there is a circuit fabricator here, which I can take, and a compressor. Um, so I could take that stuff with us. Because we don't need to do much here on the moon these days. What else have we got up here that we can pinch and take back with us? Well, definitely these arrows I need to take because I missed them. Uh, what else? I've got diamond here. I've got loads of stuff up here. Loads and loads of it. There's dirt here. Let's grab the dirt. Let's grab this wood. In fact, maybe we don't need to go back to the overworld. Maybe we just go from here back to back to Mars. There's silicone here. Grab it. I'm going to grab this compressed stuff. We've got turrets, but I don't know. Item turret. That's a disposable item turret. So what? That's shooting disposable? I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means. Uh, what else have we got that we can make use of More iron, redstone, sticks. We have something. Take the wafers. Definitely take the wafers. The tin things. Aluminium. Compressed tin. Blocks of copper. Take all of that. I think I'm wearing a backpack. Yes, I am. Uh, so let's chuck all this stuff in there. It's been ages since we've been back to the moon, so I, I really don't see us having to keep everything up here. 
but let's just take all of the good stuff. Bone meal probably be useful. Take the bones as well. Four buckets, that's excessive. Let's take two of those. Iron blocks, the wool. Uh, take those universal cables. Um, more glass, why not? Copper, tin. Okay, yeah, I am popular today. I've got another phone call coming through. Um, wait, we've got gold there, redstone there. Think about it like we're wowsing out. Uh, uh, uh. That's yeah, that's the noise it was making, wasn't it? <laughs> that is what it was doing. The boss I'm talking about, not me. Chuckle this back in the backpack. Yeah, I definitely lost the other backpack. That glitched out. Not happy about that. Worse of things have happened though. All right, well, let's shoot back to Mars. Ever consider becoming a voice actor? No. I mean, yeah, once upon a time when I was younger and, and naive to actually how... how intense it is to be a voice actor. I don't think I've got it, Arcana, if I'm honest with you. I don't think I have the... I don't have it. Good enough to call bingo numbers, I think, but not quite good enough to, you know, be the voice of a, 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 a character in some kind of animation or video game or whatever. I don't, I don't think I could do it. But not saying that I wouldn't be interested if anybody at any point decides, you know what, that guy's got it. Come and speak to us. I'll speak to you. Come and talk to me. All right, back to Mars we go. Hopefully it's not full of critters. You might like this audio. And on uh, arriving back to Mars, we've got these landing balloons. Oh shit, there is mobs everywhere. And they will swarm. They're swarming. Get us out. Slimes, save me. Uh, is everything still working? I'll tell you what I am going to do. I'm just going to go to sleep real quick. Send him that voice boss VA reel. I was on Twitter the other week and... Um, yeah, all of the electric has gone bad again. I need to reset all of this. I was on Twitter the other week, and um, I saw somebody put up a post for, like, oh, voice actors wanted, send me your VA reels. And then I was going through the the, the VA reels that were um, published. And uh, the quality of some of the, the voice acting was incredible. And that was that's another thing that makes me think he is, you know what, I don't I don't think I've got it. <laughs> right, we're losing oxygen here in the oxygen collector. We're still collecting a decent amount. Um a storage module has still got stuff in. I need to get out there and reset everything, but with the mobs around, uh that's a problem for me. It looks like it's clearing up a bit. Alright, guys, don't get out and don't get involved. Leave this to dad, please. Spider. Get off my windmill. All 
Right, okay, so we need to reset all of these cables. This is a weird glitch that um, we need to do every time we, we go between planets. So yeah, I'm not happy about it, but it seems that uh, this is the way. Right, so that's the power coming back in and going through there. I know slimes, I'll get your oxygen back in a second, I promise. And then we need to reset these ones as well. Your air disappeared, yep. Yes, because we lost power to everything. Because we lost power, we lose the, um, the distributed air. Um, from the bubble distributor. I need to also reset the distributor too. Again, it's 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 annoying that, that that's a thing, but if we do it quick enough, it's all right. And that's what makes me kind of reticent uh, to travel between planets often at the moment as well, because it's just... It's cumbersome. Those bangs you'll hear would be little meteors dropping on the planet could also be creepers they like to get involved as well bubble distributor back in your place and there you go the bubble goes back and oxygen should be restored are you guys okay are you guys okay well I guess they, they should be fine they were, I found them out on the uh, on the Mars planet surface, so yeah, without oxygen as well, um, Sordio, we can't eat. So if you're low on health, uh, the only place you can you can eat to restore your health is within the oxygen bubble. What the hell did I do with all the food? Wait, the bubbles. Oh, it's all right. It's gone out. We're good. Now I can eat. Everything's fine. I can use this uh, air compressor to fill up my oxygen tank here. And I've got my new toys as well. So let's put these down. Compressor, circuit fabricator. Uh, although I'd like to make that compressor an electric boy. That can go there, because that doesn't... It does need power. How foolish of me. Give it back. Um, are you connected? No, okay, it's on that side. You can stick it there like that, and that's getting power. How do we go from regular compressor to electric compressor? My guess is, oh, okay, it's an advanced wafer. We have one very, well, an anvil, compressed steel, compressed bronze, and two cables. Do we have it? I've got not enough compressed steel, so I need to use this compressor regardless. Now this one doesn't require power, so I can shove that one there, and it's powered by coals. And then we need compressed iron. One, two, we've got two already. So I need one, two, three, four coals. And then some coal to power it. One, two, three, four, five should be enough. Yeah, this is a cool little tool. So it takes that iron and it's going to smash the arse out of it and turn it into steel.
like that. Compressed steel. Think of it as a mega hammer. Powered by what looks like steam at the moment. Right, so we've got we've got the steel. What else do we need? We need that wafer. We've got one wafer. We need compressed bronze. Don't have compressed bronze, but we can compress it. So just two of those guys. Bang and bang. And we need two aluminum aluminums, two aluminium wires. So that I'm gonna have to make. That we do with copper. No, we don't. Aluminiums, three of. And wool. Six aluminium wires, there we go. So we've got the wires, we've got the wafer, we've got the steel, we need to make an anvil now. So that is blocks of iron and ingots of iron. So we've got the ingots of iron there. And there's the anvil. So we should have, nope, we need that bronze. Give me the bronze. We should have now what we need to make this here electric compress. Like that. Okay, where's the old, where's the old on it? On the left. So then we can stick this guy here. And there we have it. An electric compressor. We've got the circuit fabricator. We've got the old compressor. We don't need that one anymore. Let's take that down. And that can go over here inside this box. Back to chat. Uh, wouldn't just replacing the first one at the power source fix the issue with the wires not distributing power? You'd think that, uh, Sordio, but uh, no. Uh, we, we ran through that same same um, simulation. Yeah, so the first time it happened, I was freaking out, going, what the fuck's going on here? And then I realized that all the powers aren't green, or the power cables weren't green, because it's a good indicator as to whether there's power going through the wire, right? If it's green, it's got power going through it. But even just replacing one of them, it wasn't sending the power through. It's, it's really bizarre. Again, I think it's a glitch in the mod pack itself. Um, and I have escalated it. And um, he says, oh, you should be using different cables. And I'm like, well, no, because this is here. I can use it. Well, actually, one of the things that is, and maybe that's what I've alerted him to, is he's replacing the mechanism, which is where these universal cables come from, um, mod pack with something different. So that's the thing. Uh, I can't get my hands on my oxygen thing there now. I'm going to have to break that and that. Not very efficient at all, Star. What are you playing at? Right, anyway. Got our oxygen tanks again. I think this is still fine. It's still generating enough. Yeah, 240 oxygens per second. And this bubble is pushing out 160. So we are fine. I also would like to try growing a tree if pos. Now I've got some dirt with us. I want to go to a spot. I suppose here is the best bit for it. Stick some, stick some dirt down. And let's see if we can grow an indoor tree where I can harvest the wood. Saplings, can you see them? Yes, there. We've not actually done one of these off planet yet, so the tree will grow now that there's oxygen in here. Let's see if we can bone meal it big. Pfft. 
greedy one. Come on, you can do it. Jesus. Okay. Well. Let's try another 30 bone meal, shall we? Before I give up completely. There we go. Okay, so yes, we can grow trees. Indoors. Uh, if I leave this here, that should be more oxygen, right? 286 now. But I might just uh, save it for later. Where is my shears? Do I have it? Yes. That was a risky click because that could have just, just well, basically removed all of the ones I set up over here, but it didn't, so that's okay. Uh, we have spare leaves, people. We can make more leafage. Wow, I'm freaking out. No, that's the wrong saying, Arcana. It's the wow. We're wowsing out. I'm wowsing out. Wow, just like that. Uh, these turrets. Let's do something about it. I've never done turrets before. So I could get this completely wrong. It's dark outside, so let's take a snooze. Mobs. Mobs. Mobs everywhere. Look at them all. Oh, I need to get my uh, ship out of there and set that back up as well and get that ready to go in case we need to escape. Cool thing I learned about those, if you want a big version of a tree, just put a couple blocks right above in all directions. That's an interesting um, little tricksy poos. I know some of the trees you can, if you do a two by two radial base, you can make a mega tree, like with the spruce, I believe that's uh, that's a thing. And oh boy, do we love the spruce wood. Yes, we do, precious. Cool stuff. One block up and to the side. Yeah, really. I didn't. I didn't realize that. I thought I would have thought that that would have uh, inhibited the growth of the tree because it needs that space to grow, right? But um, oh yeah, I'll have to give that a try at some point. Uh, luckily, uh, we've got this kind of excavation alt mine kind of mod on here, so I can destroy that tree super quick but if that wasn't on here and it was like vanilla and it grew that weird tree that kind of goes out all over the place i would be mad because those are buggers to to get down um with just an axe and getting every block i'm uh, playing a new uh sky block variant at the moment and uh yeah every time that happens on there i'm like oh my god i've got to i've got to really kind of branch out no pun intended to get this damn tree down I need to go out and find another slimeling, don't I? And then we can have uh, Sordio in here as well. We can have a fifth friend. Right, you guys are all... So he's only a, he's only 40... Arcana, you're 45% grown, so you've got more growth to go. You're going to be a strong one. Let's uh, get all these guys following, get them away from the door. Come over here, you guys. Line up. 
want to see you all. I guess that'll do. Sit. Sit. It's not like arc where I can just whistle sit. Whistle sit. Whistle sit. Uh, if it's at all possible, can I be green? Uh, no, sorry, sir. Uh, not possible. There's only three colour variants of slimelings. Uh, blue. Well, there's, these guys are green, believe it or not, but they come out yellow from our eyeballs. But yeah, red, green, and blue. And it all depends on... Um, we need to go outside. It all depends on... If there's any about. we got creepers. we got creepers, people. Let's get my stuff back. Get rid of that. Yeah, so these meteors drop. It's getting dark, so I need to get back in again soon. Uh, and if they are green, blue, or red, they will be a slimeling egg. If not, they are just uh, raw meteoric iron, which is some super iron. My name is Vile Wind in Latin. Would fit the theme. Yes, that's good. I like that. I like that. A vile wind approaches. You know, I've just realised that the uh, oxygen distributor is off by a block to the left. But that could mean that I could grow trees here, maybe. Right, we've got mobs coming back. Get the F out of here. And sleep. Wiggles! He's crafting the mine. I am crafting the mine on Mars. Wiggles, you've 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 joined us. We're here on Mars. Look at our friends. I need to get another slime ring now so I can have Wiggles and Sordio uh, as part of the posse. Part of the worm crew. But with all these mobs outside, I think I'll hang tight for a few moments. Uh, one thing I can show you guys is our mine. Because that's fun. Oh, I can make the arc light as well, actually. Let's do that. Now that I've got the, uh, the ability to do it, and we talked about it last time, let's make a couple of these guys. Uh, so arc light. Arc lamp, isn't it? Dash ingots, one, two, three, four. Glowstone dust, one, two, three, four. And a battery. Oh, shit, we didn't need the compressor at all for any of that. Oh, we do to make more batteries. That was that was it, wasn't it? Compressed tin, redstone, and coal. Uh, we've got some tin. And I can compress some more. That's for sure. How you doing, Wiggles? You good, mate? Hope you are. Hope you've been a good boy. And all that. I've been playing Vanilla Bedrock. No worries, Wiggles. Uh, we're here for another 25 minutes. Um, Sordio, I'm going to say something probably very unpopular. Um, I've had enough with Bedrock uh, Minecraft. Although I was talking to Jimmy LR the other day. He was saying that there is a new uh, thing that they were, that they've been throwing out in the snapshots with um, kind of explorable mines that have loots and stuff inside it. Um, so that could, that could kind of bring me back a little bit, I guess. But um, once you've modded, it's hard to go back. Is, is so that's that's the saying I've just created the moniker I've just created here. Um, once you've modded, it's hard to return back to unmodded Minecraft. Get a couple of batteries made. One and two. 
Right, and then it was glowstone, which we have, and dash ingot, which we also have. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And a battery in the middle. No, that's the other way around. Uh, what? What? Does it not like the battery? What are we doing wrong? Let's try that again. Glowstone dust, yes. Battery. Unless it needs to be a charge battery. Um, and then dash ingots, which we've also got. Weird. Okay, well let's charge these batteries up and see if that's the thing. We can do that with this fella here. I thought I heard Zuma talking about mods for Minecraft, but they aren't calling them mods. They're called something else. What do you think they're going to be called, VJ? Do you think they're going to be like mm. DLC add-ons? Paid content? Let's try this again. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Well, shiver my timbers. <clears throat> Can't build the arc lamp. Oh, hang on. This is backwards for a start. There we go. One arc lamp. Let's make the other one. Cool, so we've got a couple of arc lamps now. Let's see how much light they give uh, as we set them up in the mine. Actually, before we do, let's just quickly take a bite of some food. They are called add-ons. And how does one acquire one of these add-ons, VJ, for S's other name? Are they, per chance, paid content? So the blurb on the arc light is... Arc lamps are used to provide strong light to a large area, also causing most mobs to flee. And that's what we want down here, because we have lots of mobs chilling. Like those two creepers and that there spider. Check your corner, star. So where do we think would be the best position for this? From the ceiling, maybe? I've not got my uh, backpack, my jetpack on. But we can definitely build up. Let's find a central point and go for it. Don't watch me for a second, bad mobs. I'm doing nothing. Flee. Now flee. Is that on? Kind of want one pointing the other way, don't we?
Um, hum. Hum, hum, hum. Maybe one on the ground? The other way, though. No, the other way. No! <laughs> Why is it doing that? Only goes one way? Okay, we'll stick it over here, then. There we go. Will we say that's thoroughly lit up now? I wonder what happens if I go around and pick up these little glowstone guys. If that's going to improve it. But um, yeah, maybe one of those at uh, kind of each point of the sphere might light this whole area up and keep the mobs out. That would be cool. Still want to go venturing off that way. Adventuring off, <clears throat> sorry, in that direction. There's these little uh, green worms here as well, Sordio, which are little shits. They're like little leeches. So you've got to destroy them with um, with absolute conviction. <laughs> Get dead, get dead. Right now now I dealt with them. This guy springs into action. Because he was scared before. We are going on a trip and our magic rocket trip. Definitely. Defonate. But it's a good mod pack. You know, I'm I'm enjoying it. It's very different and um You know, it brings it brings the whole space travel into the equation, which Star Seventeen is all about. It. I'm all about it. I enjoy it. Oh, we've practically cleaned out this room now. from those guys up there which are just cowering from us cowards Ugh. oh and there's some that's respawned back there again great great yeah, I reckon two more arc lights in here, and then this room is will be well lit. Jesus, these things are everywhere now. Come on then. Maybe I should introduce them to my slime posse. Anyway, alien life down there. Uh, what we need to do here, though, is we need to beat the dungeon boss and then we can move on. But I need to go exploring for more dungeon uh, entrances because the one that we found is doesn't have a boss chamber by the looks of things. So 
So why do we have a yellow? JJ was the last one we found. Maybe it's about growth. Okay, we got some blaze rods from that little excursion. That's nice. Keep those arrows for sure, because our bow is there. Take a quick, quick snoozy poops. Yeah, the only way to sleep on uh, other planets is with this cryo chamber, this cryogenic chamber. Beds will explode like they would do on the nether. So don't do it. Please don't do it. I need to lay out my, uh, my escape rocket. Go. Blaze rods. Give me that blaze rod. You know what I don't get? What don't you get, mate? More blaze rods. Yummy. Yeah, army. Right, slimelings. If you're on Mars and all that dirt around you should have iron. Yeah, you're right. It should be high in and um, rich in iron content. Definitely. Agree with that. And this would be a great, great place to just to come and process just sheer ridiculous amounts of iron. That in this mod pack I can turn into steel. So you know, that's a that's a thing. We can do it like the old miners used to do it. Chuck all this dirt through a um, a wash plant and get all of that juicy iron out of it. And then we can stand there and say things like, You're all millionaires, you just gotta get it out of the ground. Or, um, what's another popular saying from the hit show, Gold Rush? Come on, VJ, you remember. Shut it down is another one, wasn't it? Shut it down. The bloody beats. Tony Beats, the man who cannot be subtitled. Closed captioning does not work on Tony Beats. No slimelings though. Let's let's where's these slimelings? We need a Sordeo, we need a There's one, there's a green one over there. Uh, and we also need a Wiggles. He can't mine gold either. There's a blue one. We found a blue one. Or diamonds. What do you mean he can't get he can't mine gold or diamonds? Has he lost his license? Oh, you're talking about me on Mar on Mars. It's under the ground. We've seen it. Well, not diamonds, but uh, we've seen the gold. Do 
he was beyond useless. He is the epitome of, like, just forcing something to happen, isn't he, really? Like, uh, I don't have the staff. Well, okay, I'll just force my kids to do it. to buy this million year old dredge that doesn't work but we'll we'll force everybody to make it happening that's a saying as well isn't it make it happening all you got to do is make it happening look how deep this crater is another slimeling there Right now, everybody disperse. We are not going to upset the neighborhood, are we? What time we got? 12.52. I need to wrap things up in eight minutes. I think, what have we achieved today? I mean, I, I did make a trip off world to get some more bits and bobs uh, we are i'm gonna need to make another a whole new bunker for these guys aren't i right you sodio do you want to be blue or do you want to be yellow i've got two yellow ones haven't i so this one can be i am wiggles sit he wants to be yellow as well. Where's the other yellow one gone? There he goes. Just zipped in here. Right. We will give you your full prefix. Sor... Deo... Underscore... Ventus. Hungry for bread. Or is that a potato? There's a potato, isn't it? Hungry for potatoes. Sit. And we got one spare for a future viewer. Or have I forgotten? So, oh, we should make Shadow Hunter. Here we go. Let's let's make this one Shadow Hunter. Underscore X ninety six. She likes emeralds, the greedy one. There we go. Look at our friends. We've, we've grown our little community. Oh, look how big Jimmy's getting. We've grown our little community here. Arcana should be the biggest. Looking good, Arcana. Um, yeah. How big can they get? Well, apparently he's at half half scale at the moment, or 60%. So, another 40% bigger than that? No, I don't think so, mate. Maybe they'll get to two blocks, two blocks high. That would be good. Arcana's hungry for flint and steel. We don't have it to give it to him. Clouds wants gold. Really old clouds. Got some gold though, so uh here you go, clouds. Yum it up. Strengthen, breed, or heal. Strengthen, breed, or heal. Feed me, Seymour, yeah, yeah. That's that's not a lot of people will understand what that means. Um Should we make should we make clouds bigger or should we should we breed? We have not done a breed yet. Let's try it. Oh, okay. So we're going to need to breed two guys together. So Wiggles wants gold as well. So that's fitting. 
Let's feed the gold to the gold. Wiggles and clouds are going to get it on. Oh no, he's too young to breed. It's not going to work. Grow them. Uh, VJ wants a door. Let's get VJ a door. Breed. With clouds. Now. Oh, there we go. Hey! Oh, we got a green one! Blue and yellow makes green. Well, what do you know? Look at this guy. I also wants gold as well. <laughs> I didn't, you didn't think you were going to witness uh, alien pornography today, did you? But there it is. You've seen it. You can't unsee it. But, uh, yeah, we've got a green one now. Also wants gold. Uh, what do we call this guy? Who haven't we got yet? Who is... Who does pop by from time to time as a viewer? Um... Do you know what? Should be my own IRL son because he watches the show. Um, so that one could be Jensen. Jensen, your father is VJ and Clouds. Now sit. Look at this. We are just up to our eyeballs in slimes now. Slime City. Right. right guys, that kind of brings us to the end of today's stream, I'm afraid. I'm going to have to call it there. Um, but I've had fun. Thank you for being here, everybody. I'm going to set up a raid in just a second. But before I do, I'm going to say goodbye to my YouTube audience. Catch us on episode 21, where we continue to flummox around on the planet of Mars. This time we are equipped with the, with the ability to build more things. So hopefully we can get something to allow us to, to, to travel farther... Uh, and find the next dungeon boss. Take care. Catch us next time. Goodbye.